I'm praying for my wolves, laying on my fools. Mama told me, boy, you better take it slow. Okay. All this business on my mind, trying to mind my business. This life that I'm living, I'm just trying to live okay. it. I'm praying for my wolves, laying on my fools. Mama told me, boy, you better take it slow. Okay. All this business on my mind, trying to mind my business. This life that I'm living, I'm just trying to live okay. it. Trying to find my purpose and how I'm living. Hey, what's up with it out there? It's your boy Rick back again, man. We are back in Minnesota after this long, exhausting drive from Houston, Texas. But it was fun. It was all worth it. Um, first stop, we went to Dallas, of course. There was a, I don't know, where was that place at, babe? Where'd we go? Borderplex? Oh, that's where it was. Look at that, looking good, though. Ooh, and she fly. Ooh, look at her. Check her out. But yeah, we was at the Borderplex where they had a lot of races, a lot of exciting things was going on there. Real fun. Uh, then we stopped down in Houston. We went to Houston, Texas and seen a few things. We were in Galveston, Texas. We seen the beach. Uh, we made a pit stop over at NASA Space Center. NASA Johnson Space Center. Well, that was really cool and exciting. We can walk and talk. And uh, yeah, we seen some cool things. Got to see a, um, an astronaut's actual, it's the outfit that he wears. Now that was dope. And those things are pretty crazy though. I mean, and they told us how much they cost. They were like 13 million bucks for one space suit. Now that's nuts, right? That is nuts. That's crazy. It's absolute bananas. That's a lot of freaking money, man. 13 million dollars for an old space suit. I don't know what they're trying, what they're costing now. I'm sure probably a little bit more, or they might be more cost efficient now, but I mean, with technology and everything. But um Hey, now you tell me. <laughs> Said I had a booger in my nose. Let me see. Really, nigga? There you go. <laughs> I got it. So I guess I got the booger. So now we are at the convention center. Look, you're gonna get hit. Where are you going? She's trying to get hit. The star coming. This woman's nuts. You go. She's crazy. Okay, so we're we're at the convention center, downtown Minneapolis, MPLS, Twin Cities, baby. I got this. Uh, I am a registered. Yeah, I got that. I got my my gun on me though. I can't go in there with this thing. You know. So I am a uh, registered, licensed uh, carrier of, uh, you know, firearm, all that good stuff, CDC, CWW, whatever it's called, right? And I have been in a uh, non-resident license too as well, out of uh, Florida. So it allows me to carry, actually carry, not just possess, but carry on me in the public places in 38 states. So I can go a lot of places with these pistols and with these guns on me, but anyway, that's neither here or there. Like I was saying, we are at the Convention Center, downtown Minneapolis. Um, about to go check out some more car stuff, you know, some more cars today. I don't know what exactly they have, but they have, um, last time we were here, a bunch of newer stuff, newer cars or whatever. I don't know how techy or if they got Lambos and all that type of stuff they got, but we're gonna find out. So you guys stay tuned for that, right? Yes. This is kind of a special place though for us, in a way. Oh, we can go. It's special? Because if this was not our first date. I have a cold, you guys. This is not our first date, but like a few months after our first date, we came here. This was one of our, what are you doing, <laughs> babe? This was one. Down the, okay, now he just distracted. But yeah, this was when we first started talking. This was one of the places that we came to. So now we're back. After I did a nab and grab, snatched her up real quick, off, swept her off her feet. <laughs> <laughs> swept her smooth off her feet, and she's head Actually, over heels and had butterflies and all that good stuff. You and now see she's really who, who got who. I mean, it speaks a lot if a woman like me got a man like you, so. Hey, y'all know. She just talking you really, back. Really, see, really, Gucci, was, Gucci, baby. really what's Gucci going on. Gucci on the feet. These old, though. These old Gucci's, they beat up. These like tennis shoes. Forget what she talking about. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I got the better game. Really, nigga? Yeah, yeah. I got him. Anyways, check this out. I got him. We are sliding in this place right now. We are here, so y'all stay tuned, baby. Keep rocking and rolling. Stay positive and keep it all that good stuff. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Hi. We're 
we're here. Uh, first thing we see when we walk in is a 392 Scat Pack Dodge. They doing their thing, baby. Oh, they got that Daytona up there. See that they that Daytona thing. That on me in the Hellcat Daytona though. Y'all see it. A lot of Dodge products, more parts all through this. Through here. We gonna jump in there? <laughs> there he is. Check it out. She jumping in. She always wanted to jump in one of these uh Oh, this is just a regular basic with the Hemi, but basically the same car. It's, yeah. it's a Hellcat. So I thought it would feel like more wider and stuff. But it's not as wide as I thought, you know. The seat is comparable to the Camaro in the back. I'm not usually a sports kind of gal. I like more of my luxury whips. Start her up. Go ahead, rev that thing. Let's see, let's see what it sounds like. Y'all see it. Go ahead, start you it up. You see the smoke in the back. Ain't no smoke, baby. You gotta start it up. This is more plain, but shit, I still whip it. <laughs> okay, so this is what we got. We got Jeep. Gladiator, Rubicon. Look at that. They got the cages on the doors, though. Got the cages on there. You can swap them out for regular doors. This is this is the ultimate truck right here, boy. Let's go. This is the ultimate truck right here. Look, drop top. You know what I'm saying? You can drop the top on that on this way. You see that? Look at the tires. Sweet. This is the tread on that, boy. A lot of tread there. The whole open back on it. I really like these trucks. You can use, you know, multi-purpose vehicle right here. It said work truck, fun truck. You can drop the top on there. This thing, one so you, I would do. Say what? I would do this one for sure. It's the Rubicon. This is top of the line, top yeah. of the moot. As yeah. a tall guy, in there, Mr. Organic would say. Yeah. I would yeah. do this one. Yeah, these are clean. I like these things. So, yeah, this is that luxury sport joint. Rubicon, baby. So I guess they actually have these, uh, the Gladiators over here. They're doing them test runs in their small track over here. So we're probably going to go jump in one of these things. Oh, uh, look at that one. Doesn't that look exciting? <laughs> so we're probably going to go jump in there and then we're going to finish our thing. Look at that. So the turquoise on. Yeah, we're going to jump in this one. We can jump in the front. You want to jump in the front? Nah, I can get it back. So, here we are. We are this, the, the ugly color Jeep. So, we got the ugly one. And here we are. She's up there. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Woo! 2020 Gladiator Rubicon. Electronically disconnected sway bar, which gives us 20% more articulation. So, right now we have all four wheels on the ground and we're sitting level, even though we are actually on the brake. Woo! Yeah. Uh-uh. How you feeling? Yeah. Oh, look at that. Woo! <laughs> Are you having nervous driving? Look at that. Yeah, these tracks are testing. Woo! So we're climbing up some stairs here. Look at that. Yeah, because Wow. And then, like, this peak right here. Yeah. 
is still most definitely at the top of our list, right babe? Yes. We yes. like the Rubicon. And the Gator. Yeah, I mean not the Rubicon, the Gladiator, the Jeep Gladiator. Yes. Beautiful car. Very safe. Right. Very durable. You can do so many different things with it. And As you, you can see, see the track on there too, like right now. Oh yeah. As you see, we were doing some sideways stuff, some real steep trips up this ramp here back there. And uh, yeah, they had it leaning sideways, like 25 degrees and shit, and still was good. Oh, they have another ramp here or track here, but we're not gonna go with that guy. Cause uh, I don't think I'm too interested in the ram truck. I don't know, what do you think, babe? You wanna go jump in? We only live once. Oh, okay. Well, we will. All right, y'all heard what she and said, so. And after being in Texas, I like, or I should say I have more of a liking for pickup trucks when they're souped up big like that, so, yeah. Okay, so I guess we're gonna jump on this boy, this bad boy and uh, run through this track here. Yeah, I'll see it. Looks pretty cool, the same track. Oh, that, that one looks real like, like it goes a lot more slanted over there. I mean, nothing compares to the Jeep doing it. But. Oh, what is he doing? Know, he backs up. Happen. Backs up on something. Oh, look at that. That stop. So he's backing up on something. I don't know why he did that. And this guy's going on the wrap, actually. Look at that. Yeah, that's dope. Whoa, this tire is Look at that. The tires don't hit. Now when he comes off, the tire will come off. Why? See? See? Yeah. So as you see, these trucks are pretty stable. It's the Dodge Ram truck right there. And it's pretty dope. So it's in. Just gotta just redo this all over again. We're gonna jump in the Dodge Ram Rebel. Check it out. I see that backing up feature. That actually shows their uh, technology inside of the truck. So that's what's going on there. So once we, oh, we got more questions. Oh, we're just confirming what we already, what they already know. Uh, so it shows, I guess, the towing power on this truck so that's what's going on here so that's pretty dope they get to hook it up to this big block here and uh show the actual towing power of the, the vehicle Let's see what's going on. whoa look at that i wonder how much that thing weighs we're gonna ask them look at that the dodge ram rebel look at that that's just dope hey, i got a quick question do you, do you, you know how much weight this is here? Uh, yeah. I can't remember off the top of my no. head, but your driver will be Okay, I'm sure. Be right here for me. All right. I'll jump in front. You want me to jump in front this time? Oh, we both can get in the back. What do you think? You good? All right. Both pretty well, surprisingly. This does a pickup truck well, 12 inch screen. Look at that big old screen you got yeah, that's there. that's a nice screen. And you got a ton of room back there. That rear seat reclines, or heated and cool seats back there. Yo, I love this, how much space. They added four more inches. They got USB to C ports back there and up here. 110 inverter back there. We got this 360 camera with a top view on here. We're gonna go back here and we're gonna load this up. We're gonna show you how we're doing this tailgate. If you look on either side here, we're gonna push the butt. The tailgate's gonna drop down drops down that way to push the button but also does this or it opens up like a door oh, wow. out there oh okay cool. 
Got noise canceling speakers on here, dual pane glass, super quiet. How quiet is it? It's just quiet. Oh yeah, that's pretty powerful. Oh wow. Yeah, pretty that's good. Looks different. Yeah. They yeah. all come that way. Yep. You got noise canceling speakers, so it does it with that, and yeah, dual panes. It's pretty neat on there. It's got the Harman Kardon stereo in here, 19 speakers, 900 watt stereo. Cranks it back pretty good. You got your tow haul button, trailer brakes on there, air ride suspension. You got your traction control down here. Go through this. We got the 360 views. Got the forward view on that. Oh, the forward view, yeah. That's yep. it. And the top view on there, so it's pretty cool. Oh, so you yeah. follow that power wheel get up here to half a second. This has got the 5.7 Hemi on it. It's an e-torque motor, so it's a mild hybrid. How much horse? 395, 410 foot pounds of torque. We're gonna go up on here, 30 degree angle coming and going. Whoa. Ooh. Whoa. <laughs> 15 feet high. Boom. It goes on, goes down. Ooh. It's got the largest 15 inch brakes Ooh. you can get in the industry. Look at that. Which is pretty nice. We're gonna go over here. It's got the high strength steel frame on body construction. So we do this. There's no flexing in the body, cab, and all that stuff. Just climbs right up on here. Now, 30 degree angle right here. Boom. And Usually, they can't go any more than that because otherwise it won't. <laughs> okay. Yeah. How's that going? Hey. Bounce around a little bit there because we can. Uh-uh. <laughs> well, now through the screen, you got a big navigational screen on there, which is pretty nice. Pinch the zoom on that. Cell parks itself at the end of the day. Oh, nice. Adaptive cruise control down to zero. Lane departure, so it's virtually a self-driving vehicle. 2020 around. Yep. That's what they Rebel. did to them. That's what they did. A little bit of what they can do. That's done. Thank you much. All right, all right. All right. So show them, show them what you want, baby. We just want t-shirts. Look at that. They got a little prize winning thing, raffle at the end. I got a hat. I'll check it out. Move it. Y'all see it. 2020 Ram Rebel, baby. That's what it was. And I want to go over. So we're going to continue our journey around this, uh, convention center check out the vehicles and see we're gonna sign some paperwork here we're gonna do this ride and drive oh my god something like that and we sign that another wristband and then you're ready for your ride all right so right around the corner here we're gonna jump in a vehicle i don't know which one she's not ready yet what are we driving all right. So, we're getting ready to roll. Uh, I don't know. I guess we get to take our pick. Let's go find out. So, they actually have a bunch of different cars you can choose and pick. Pacifica, 1500, Jeep Cherokee. We got the Jeep Wrangler. And then we're in this line here for the Jeep Gladiator. So, that's what we're going to ride in. We rode actually on this little track over here, but now we're actually going to get on the road and down the street and uh, see how this thing goes. Sponsor me, Jeep. I'll buy a Wrangler. No, a Wrangler? A Gladiator. Gladiator. I'm looking at Wrangler. I'll buy a Gladiator and they sponsor me. They yeah. sponsor me. I say you got to get one first. All right. That is a very unique pillar over there, that turquoise. So we're going to actually, I'm going to actually drive. Uh, one of these vehicles here. So this one, this is the Jeep Gladiator. I'm gonna jump behind the wheel and actually give it a test drive here. See, they let you test drive the vehicles here. They really want you to buy. We got the Ram over there, the Fiat, whatever that thing's called. Oh yeah, Rubicon on the motor. Look at that. So I'm actually gonna jump in here now and give this thing a swirl and we'll record as we go. Overall, the Jeep Gladiator is a very cozy, very comfortable truck. Nice ride. Has a lot of technology features in it. Um, I like the truck. I like it a lot. She loves it, of course. Has a nice body, pretty solid vehicle. Um, the only thing, like I said, 
there's no room in there for like, you know, I'm a pretty tall guy, I'm around 6'1". Um, so, I don't know, if you're tall like me, you got long legs, you're gonna have a little bit of issue squeezing in that thing. But, um, I mean, other than that, I mean, you, you can, you know, get past the discomfort of, of having no, little to no leg room in there. Um, it's, it's overall, it's a good ride. It's a nice truck. Yeah, I would recommend it for a little bit shorter person, 5'10 or something like that. But, not for the tall guy. Sorry. Not gonna work. Stay tuned. We got some more exciting things coming up in this place here. So we're gonna continue our tour in the convention center. So y'all stay tuned. So after riding in that car or that Jeep, they gave us a little bag. We got a free cooler. So we're just collecting gifts. <laughs> I mean, we paid what? How much was our tickets? Today, it half was, off. Yeah, half off. So it was twelve dollars all together. Twelve bucks. We paid six dollars a piece, and we got that in merchandise. I mean, I got a hat. We got two T-shirts, right. and then uh, we got these two coolers here. So that's pretty dope. And this is the other vehicle we was actually thinking cool. about driving. Yeah. This is the new Pacifica. It's like a van. A I have a thing, a new thing for vans. I, I want to be that that it's guy. Awesome. The van is. I want to trick out a van like. I don't know. I really just have a, a new a new thing like for minivans, and I want to get a van. And I like I always like Chrysler because you know they're like come up pretty close to like driving a Mercedes. Like you know having one of these is like almost a Mercedes minivan. Mercedes need to make a minivan. And this is the sportier model. I'm assuming that's what that means. Um, I'll be that soccer mom in a minivan. I want to see how. Yeah, yeah. These are dope. I like vans. The only thing with her thing, I mean, this is just as big as a truck, you know, but you got a lot of technology features in these joints here, man. You know, uh, you know, this guy, he's here styling. He got his Gucci pants on. Let's see that. This is nice, though, for a minivan. Yeah, I've, you got I've, dope. That's why I, like, I've always been like an SUV type, not a minivan. Oh, you got both of our shirts? Yeah. Oh, okay. I was gonna say, I left mine in the van. I mean, in the truck. Look, she's like the minivan now. The only thing I don't like about these vans now, this is a 2020 right here. And I see it still has like analog, um, the dash. It should have a full screen digital dash on this thing by now. It's 2020. That is a very new vehicle, but it don't have the full digital dash yet. I don't understand that, you know? A lot of technology features in these vans, you know, they're real dope, but, the dash they gotta step it up come on chrysler let's let's get that digital dash in these vans now we got a little storing compartment behind the too. seats look at that these things actually come up now that's dope look at that man i mean these do these things do like transformers they do a lot of tricks the minivan do tricks like young jesus said you know for real oh and they actually have tv screens back here too that's what this looks like here oh yeah flip up screen look at that that's dope yeah like the minivan. Oh, they got this like the shelves opened up here. All right, so this is that, that Ram, I don't know, Ram Raptor. Look at, look at these tires. I'm a tall guy and these things are way up there. Uh, so how did it feel sitting up high like that? <laughs> like a big boy, big boy truck. Uh, big boy truck chair. This, these my, these tires sit about. It's got to be at least five, five and a half feet. They're as tall as me, and I have heels on. Yeah, see. And I'm five one. They're five and a half feet. Right, like I was thinking, this is about five and a half feet right here. These and tires. I Look at that. Off. Some big tires here. Firestone, of course. Let's see it. Big boy tires. I wonder how much these tires cost. Okay, so this is kind of crazy, guys. Bring me back to like childhood memories. This is, uh, these are like the damn 71,000. Woo! Like it did too when I was young. These are these old, uh, old time, well, I guess these are new 2020, of course. Uh, like these caravans and stuff. I, I have up with these. Seen it one smells of these. like it did too when I was That's young. Screen on the inside of that boy. Big oh, boy screen. Oh. The seats in here. Dope, dope. That's nice. Nice seats. We nice leather. 
the swivel chair on there so you can turn around and talk to whoever's back there or whatever else you want to do on this thing. You know, pretty dope. Got the shades in there. Look at that. Clean, clean. They still look real like the old old time ones. They look really close, real similar. Oh, this is a, like the extended cab joint. Got the steps. Oh yeah, these are nice. I like this. Ooh -wee. Big boy screen, probably 13 inch screen in there. 71,000. I found it, I found the good one. Look at that. Yeah, I like wait these. Wait till you guys see like this. Oh no, wait till you see this one. Okay. I'm gonna come from the back though. Oh, look at that. It lays down, turns into a bed in this thing. Oh, wait, look at that screen in that joint though. Look at that. Big boy screen with the lights in there. Oh yeah, this is the one one right here. Third row seating from what it looks like. Not sure, it looks like it does. Had the third row, but I actually turned this one into a bed. And two seats up there. This is a good traveler right here. It's a nice like movie theater looking. Let's go, let's go to it through this side door. Check it out. Explore. So this is a Savannah. It looks like this one that says Savannah 2500 conversion van. And this is a retail about 75k. Look at that. Ooh -wee. Yeah, this is luxurious. This is a nice whip right here. You got the swivel seats, of course. Big boy screen. Oh, yeah, that's nice. That's nice. Let's go ahead and zoom in on this screen a little bit so we can get clear of that. Look at that. Now, when I was young, we had one of these. Hmm. It has the same size. Nice carpet in here. Nice wood trim. Good screen in there. Probably can play the same thing that they're playing in the back. Uh, this is dope, man. I like this. The world travelers, man. Yeah, this is a clean van right here. I like it. This one actually has a nice color. Put some chrome wheels on that boy. He'd be killing the game. Let's look at the front trim on it. See how the grill looks. Ooh, okay, okay, I see you, conversion van. You know, I thought it was gonna look like a school bus, but you know, got the big topper on that joint. It's that Savannah thing though, 75. Oh, this one's actually, it looks like it's marked down a little bit. 65, this is cheaper than the other one. This is 65K. Yeah, I like them. Ooh, -wee. yeah, that's dope right there. That is a nice van. Well, we're gonna continue this journey. So, Stay tuned. Right, check it out. We found a Toyota Camry. These are the new Camrys. Look how sporty these things look now. With the diffuser, they come stock with diffusers on there. Look at those mufflers, exhaust on that thing. Chrome tips on them. I forget what those are called in the bottom, but they come with that too. This is real sporty. I really like these Toyota Camrys. The two-tone color. Oh, we're gonna get into the inside of it. Ooh, wait, the inside looks super mean. Look at that grill on that thing, though. Ooh, wee. Look at that ferocious. That's a nice, best selling car. Main line. These things are moving. I, I'm starting to see a lot of them on the streets. So let me jump inside this thing, check it out, give it a look, see what's going on in here. Oh, look at the trim. It has the red and black. That's real nice. Only look at for that. 25, That's what they're starting at. 25. Base. Base price 25 grand. This is a real affordable car, nice luxurious car, and it's made by Toyota, so you know it's dependable. You know, not gonna have. Oh, this doesn't have a sunroof though. I didn't even notice that. I do not like that. Gotta have a sunroof. That's mandatory for me. I don't know about you, but for me, that's mandatory. Nice trim on that joint. The steering wheel, very new. GM like though. Uh, that's nice. This no analog light, analog dash on there, mixed with a little bit of digital components, but it should be all digital. I don't like that. It should have a big screen in there. It's 2020 now. Come on, guys, step it up. This is a nice, nice car overall. Real sporty looking. It has a nice body. Y'all see it? Oh, 
we have a spoiler on this one. Comes with a spoiler. Look at that. Nice spoiler on that joint. So we're gonna keep it going, guys. Look, we found something interesting here. This is the actual Ford Mustang truck. This is their version of the truck of this Ford Mustang here. Check this out. Mash. I think that's how you say it. But it kind of looks like a Tesla a little bit in the front. <clears throat> on the front of the... Let's, let's check it out. Let's do the walk around. Look at that. Look at that. Mash X. I don't know. Yeah, it looks real aerodynamic, real sleek. Very similar to a Tesla. Look at these the tires and the hubcaps on it. Tell me that don't look like a Tesla. They have the side cameras on there just like the Tesla does. There's two here. So this must be one of those self-driving vehicles because that's what those cameras are there for so you can stay along the lines within your lane. It helps when it self-drives a vehicle. Look at that. All right. See if we can jump in this thing. Oh, the door handles. Look, look, I didn't even notice that. There's no normal door handles in there. It's like a different. And we can't open it. So we just gotta kind of peek in there. Very similar to the Tesla. There's a big screen in the middle of it. Looks like the Tesla a lot. They designed this this uh, truck around the Tesla a lot. I see that. And it don't look anything or remotely similar to a Ford Mustang car. So they took it to a whole nother level with this one. That's pretty dope. I wonder what the price is on these things. Did it say? Did you see anything? No? Huh? So this is a Ford Mustang truck. Nice. Here it is. That's a C8. Ford Vet. My cover. I like this. This is a good looker right here. I guess these are all the colors that you can get. These are your color options coming from the factory. Yes, 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 those top two, top two colors. Walk around, look at this body. There it is, the C8 Corvette 2020. There it is. Uh, we are, they are Amazing car here. It don't get no better than that. Corvette Stingray. So, what are your thoughts on the Corvette C8? It's nice. Just nice? It's nice. I thought it was an amazing car. It's nice. That's it? Yeah. <laughs> it's nice. Would you buy one? Yeah. Especially for that price. It's only like 50 bands. Yeah. That's that I would. There's my car. Uh, Aqua. Let's check out the base. The front end on that. Can't get in. Those are locked. Looks real sporty in there. Looks like an i8 BMW a little bit in there. The way it's styled. I like these door handles on there. They flip up. That's pretty dope. Real sporty. See the engine in the back. Carbon fiber. Spoiler. That's dope. Real stylish there. I like it. Sorry. Oh, you good. 
Look at that. Have a seat. <laughs> no, it's not my seat. But the back seat of okay. the trooper, how it looks like. I know. Look at that. Yeah. That looks cozy. Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah. Look at that. Yeah. Don't want to be in there. <laughs> that could be your thumbnail. All right, we're over here at the bins section, you guys. Mercedes Benz. I found something that I liked here. Look at this. This is a GLE 2020. Formatic, of course, SUV. Y'all see it? Fifty-six thousand on an MSRP. Standard. Come in standard. Look at the body on this thing right here. A lot of trunk space here. Oh my God! Yeah, that's a lot of trunk space there. Chrome details. Let's go look at the inside of this and see how it looks. Oh, Mercedes bench. Look at that. Just like the S550s. You want to sit in it? All digital. And look right at the biggest in the cluster sunroof. Here. Oh yeah, sunroof goes all the way to the back of the truck. So you have like moon roof there. It's real like, it like look like a spaceship almost here. I like how they have those bars there right there with your little wrap around with your hand. You can grip while you're driving in sport mode of course. Now this sport I mode. would do. Oh you like these? I like these. And yeah, me too. I do. Is that GLE? Yes, uh, this is the GLE 350. 350. Yeah, three, uh, 350. Look at that. I like, what I like most about this truck, and we don't know too much about it, haven't driven it, I really had someone explain to us all the details and technology features, but from just looking at the body and coming into the inside and looking at the inside, the interior of it looks immaculate. I mean, this is beautiful. And then here you have the dash. It's all digital, baby. That's just what I like, you know what I mean? The whole dash there is like a screen. I love that about that. So Benz does that, and that's one thing that they do very well is design the interior of vehicles. Very nicely done. No TV back here though. A little disappointed there. I thought I was gonna see a screen back here, but obviously not. But I like the truck overall. So we're gonna keep on moving. Check out some more cars. I want another one. This is a 2020 GLC 43. And I don't know, it's just bi turbo formatic. So that means it's really fast. <laughs> and their MSRP retail 63,000. Hold on, total retail price here is 68,000. Look at this boy here. He's clean. The GLC 43 AMG. Top, top shit, man. Top, top shelf, man. Let's check out the inside of this boy here. I thought I was gonna see a full digital dash, but obviously we didn't get that in here. Turn this crap down. All right, look at that. Look at the seats on that detail. Suede in there. Red stitching on the black. Yeah, this is dope here, but. I still, I don't, I don't know. I don't like because they don't have that full digital dash. I think I've been spoiled. I like the full digital dash. Since F5, since the S550, the 2014 model came out, that kind of like spoiled. We need that full digital. Look at the windows though. They're blacked out. Blacked out windows. She wants to look at the trunk space. I'm going to throw you in there. Stroller goes right in there. The baby stroller would fit. My real estate signs would fit. It's perfect. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I think this is. Gotta do it like that, baby. That's what technology's for. <laughs> what? I would get this one, but I would get it with the white, with the extended roof of the black. And this is their first model that they've had since, like, seven years ago. Aviator, Lincoln. Oh my gosh, this is just perfect. Oh, look at that. This is the epitome of luxury here. This is perfect. The inside of this thing here. 
Yeah, that's nice. Mm -hmm. Two tone gray. Let's see what we got going. On. Oh, we got seating back here. A lot of speed, a lot of space here. Third row seating. Nice, real luxurious. The whole ceiling is a sunroof. You have a moonroof there. One moonroof. It kind of looks like uh, from back here. It looks similar to the BMW back here. And uh, like those 460, uh, the LS 460 Lexus. That's what it kind of reminds me of from sitting back here looking in the front. But yeah, these are dope trucks. An aviator. Look like you're sitting on about. These gotta be like 22 inches. Yep, R22. Sitting on standard factory 22 inches. Big boy wheels. That means we gotta step it up. We can't come. You buy rims. You can't buy rims on 22 if they come in stock on trucks now. You know? So this is like the Range Rover Sport, but a smaller edition. But it's Lincoln's own way of doing it, which we'll show you a Range Rover in just a moment. That's crazy. I don't know if it comes with the underglow built in it. This is Austin Martin right here. Look at that. Look at that. All right. We have a Bentley truck here. Look at this, guys. We found the Bentley truck here. Let's see if we can get in this. I don't think they want people jumping in there. That sucks. So we can't get inside the Bentley truck where we can see the inside of the Bentley truck. As you can see, all of the chrome detailed features in there. A lot of luxury components in there. Bentley did it, you know, like they do. I don't think I really... The body looks pretty basic to me, in my opinion. They got those P0s on the tires, of course. Big B in the middle. Big B on there. Oh, look at that. This is that new GT. If I'm not mistaken. Chrome on the joints. So, that's how they coming. Pirelli's on the tires, of course. And what are these? What size tires are these? 22s. They coming on 22s. Stock 22s. Yeah. V12, of course. Look at the grill on there. Doesn't that just look mean? That is a very ferocious grill on that thing there. And you know they have the four view camera on there. Right there. Big V. Yeah, I see it. LS 500. Majority of 
Well, this is it, guys. We're closing it out here. This is the last of the auto show. They got a bunch of old school cars in here. As you can see, look at that guy. So old, it's rusty. Look at that. But you see the old school Cadillac here. Cherry red with the big, big, fat white walls on them, joint. You like that? Yeah. yeah. That's dope. So we're closing it out. We're getting ready to leave. We're going back home. Time to eat. We do whatever the hell else we want to do. Uh, stay tuned. Subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed. Uh, hit the notification bell to get all notifications so you check out all the videos. Don't miss a thing. And uh, just stay rocking and rolling with us. Keep it positive. Anything you want to say to the people? Peace out, y'all.